Hey everyone, Eric Thompson here. Hope that you are doing well. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. Especially uh, for this very special, exciting uh, premiere of a new series. One that um, I've talked about and toyed with for a little while. BTSD, Book to Screen Differential. Now, in the last video that I did, I suggested that perhaps we would not see this uh, series take off, but much to my pleasure, uh, a couple friends have uh, come together just recently, and uh, the content is flowing, okay? And so we're going to begin uh, the BTSD by considering a very popular, although uh, somewhat, um, <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> somewhat conflicted series, uh, one that you've probably heard of, maybe you have seen, maybe you haven't seen, maybe you have read the books, maybe you refuse to. Uh, Twilight, okay, um, Stephanie Meyer's Twilight. Uh, whether you like it or not, or whether you care for uh, vampires or werewolves or uh, Team Edward or Team Jacob or whatever it is, Team Bella, whatever, Team Swan, uh, whether you are or you aren't, you're probably aware of how popular and successful this series has been. And, um, of course, when I consider the BTSD, uh, you know, Twilight was an obvious choice. And I think it's a good start for us. Um, as far as, you know, a book-to-screen differential to consider. Uh, and quickly, of course, what I mean by that is when a, a production company takes a, a book, a text, and turns it into a movie, what's lost? What's gained? Okay, what is the differential, you see? Um, and so to consider uh, Twilight, I've enlisted the help of my, my dear, dear friend, Jenny. Now, uh, a couple things about, uh, about the video. Uh, one... Uh, right off the bat, Jenny is going to mention uh, that I came to uh, her place of employment every night. This is not true. <laughs> I shopped there on Sunday nights, and, uh, and she almost always was working on Sunday nights. And that, as she says, is how we struck up conversation about Twilight, and uh, we became friends, you know, over the customer service counter at, uh, at uh, Fred Meyer and coming to Washington. And two, uh, she's recording the video, which I think just looks great, on uh, a Samsung Galaxy S4, just like uh, just like my phone. Um, unfortunately, you'll see she kind of moves it, and the focus uh, is lost for a, uh, just just a moment. And so, I'm gonna detect this. Just gonna look at there. Um, and so, I'm sorry about the focus kind of shifting in and out. Hopefully, next time uh, we can correct that. Nothing I can do on my end to fix that. So, uh, I beg your indulgence and your patience uh, this time. Just for this video, and so uh, let's let's get to it. Uh, Jenny has a lot more to say than I do. She knows much more than I do about this material, and so uh, grab a uh, grab a snack, a cup of coffee. I have my uh, Mountain Man dessert here. Uh, can you see? That's a water watermelon, and I, I like to toss it in cinnamon. That's just kind of what I like to do. So I'm going to enjoy my uh, my watermelon cinnamon cinnamon watermelon, <laughs> and let's see what uh, Jenny has to say. Jenny, take it away. <laughs> um, hey there all, uh, I'm Jenny, and Eric has asked me to um, help him with his uh, book-to-movie differential, and he's asked me to be his Twilight expert. A um, little bit of background, uh, Eric and I met when he was living in Covington, and I was working at the uh, Covington Fred Meyer. He would come to, up to the customer service desk almost every night. And one night I was reading Twilight, one of the books, I can't remember which. And uh, he had asked me what I was reading and I told him. And of course me being the most talkative person in the world, I went into every single detail of the book. Um, so as the movies came out, uh, we would always have discussions about book versus movie. and. Um, so, to get down to business, uh, this is book one that I'm doing for you right now, and he's asked me to answer three very simple questions, which took me a little while because uh, it's been a minute since I've <laughs> read the books, but I have read them all at least four to five times each. Um, so, book one, the first question would be, do you think the movie is a just representation of the book? For book one, um, especially with the director that they had, I would say, yes, it is actually a pretty just, um, representation of the book. Um, mostly because they kept in all the main details 
of it. Yes, they did do a couple of things with certain scenes that I was not okay with. I was like, why'd they do it that way? And, um, but, uh, it was, it was decent. A uh, little bit weird, a little bit awkward, I think, um, with the way some of the scenes were set. Um, but yeah, they did a, they did a pretty good job. Um, let's move on to question two. What, if anything, did you miss in the movie that wasn't in the book? Um, there wasn't really much in the movie that wasn't in the book. Um, I mean, they did skip around a couple of few, uh, little things like the, um, Bella and her mom interaction, um, when she was taking her to the airport. Um, they didn't really get as much into the, the beginning of the book as I would have liked. Um, and, uh, there were just a couple of scenes that just were a little bit off, a little bit weird, uh, the beach scene, especially with Jacob showing up with his two friends. His two friends looked really kind of creepy, and, <laughs> um, then in the second book, they were totally, completely different people, so it was just kind of a little bit odd. Um, but other than that, I think they did a really good job, and I think they did the best job out of all four movies with the, uh, killing of, um, of James in that movie, uh, because that was right on with the book. They didn't change anything. They, they did a great job with that. Um, so then that brings me to question number three, which did you like more, the book or the movie? Um, with this one, I, well, I actually saw the movie first. Um, whoops, I hit the button on my chair. <laughs> um, so with this one, I actually saw the movie first. I was very skeptical of the books um, and the movie. I, <laughs> my sister and my best friend had both read them and seen the movie, and they were like, "Oh, Jen, you've got to go see this movie. You've got to, you know, and you got to read these books. They're awesome." And I was like, "No, I'm sorry, but that's really lame. And Twilight is totally gay and not cool." Um. But, uh, finally, my best friend Elise got me to go to the $2 theater up in Seattle with her, and she made me go watch the movie, and I actually really liked it. So after the movie, she, um, when we got back to her house, she shoved the books in her face. She was like, here, read these. So after that, I was totally addicted. Um, so, but I did actually like the book a little bit more than the movie, um, being as I was, you know, I hadn't read the books first, um, and then I jumped straight into book two because I figured, you know, well, I've already seen the movie for book one, so I'm not gonna, not gonna read book one right away. Um, it actually, it was, it was really nice to be able to watch the first movie and then read the second book, and it really didn't leave anything out. Um, that was really important for book two. Hold on. Bobby Joe, get out! Get out! Go on, go! Mommy's trying to do something. Okay, sorry about that. Um, Let me just stop right there. Do you think she's talking to a person? <laughs> or to an animal? She never really clarifies, so let's just leave it to imagination. <laughs> but yeah, it was it was perfect. I was able to to watch the first movie and uh, then read the second book, and then when I went back to read the first book, you know, I found a few more little details that they had missed out on in the movie, but it wasn't it wasn't big and it wasn't crucial. So, uh, but I did like the book a little bit better than I did the movie. Um, and that's about that. And I guess I'll be back with book two. Wow. What a fantastic start to the series. And so just like Jenny said, we're going to be back uh, real soon with, uh, with the next installment, moving ahead with the next book and the next movie. Eclipse. Is that the second one? Vegas will help me out with that one. Anyway, uh, thank you, truly, friends, for watching. Hey, like and subscribe, okay, if you care to. Um, 
and let uh, let us know. Let uh, Jenny and I know what you thought about uh, Twilight, about the, the first book and the first film. You know, was there anything that uh, that you were missing? You know, oh, and consequently, I'm sorry I didn't mention it beforehand. Um, I think she switched around that second question. The, the the original question was, was there anything in the book that you missed from the movie, and that you so there was anything that was that you wanted to see that you liked in the book that you didn't see in the movie? Does that make sense? <laughs> it's a strange question, but uh, yeah, was there anything that you saw in the book that you didn't see in the movie and you missed it? So that the wording was funny, but she'll get it right next time. Uh, and so you know, hey, leave us some comments below. What did you think about it? Uh, what was missing that you wanted to see? What do you want to see more of? Um, you know, was it did you did you like the book more than the more than the movie or the movie more than the book? Let us know in the comment section below. Like and subscribe if you care to. And as always, friends, thank you for watching. And uh, I do, and I don't think that Jenny also. W wishes and hopes that you are doing well. Thanks. Bye. Can I have any watermelon left? <laughs>